A new study finds top Republican presidential candidates are getting a lot of negative coverage in the media. Well, knock me over with a feather. Through 2023, <laughs> so far, 90% of the coverage on ABC, CBS, and NBC has been negative toward Trump. 78% for Ron DeSantis, 57% for Mike Pence. That's right. The former president has received 664 minutes of airtime this year on those networks. The next highest is just 126 minutes for DeSantis. Outkick host Tommy Laren joins us now. Tommy, a lot to unpack in those numbers. What do you think about them? Well, I think it's no surprise that the other networks are doing the bidding for the DNC and the Biden administration. I mean, I don't think that that's shocking anybody this morning. But I will say this. It's also very telling that not only have they spent the majority of the time bashing Trump, but they've spent the majority of the time talking about Donald Trump as if he is the only competitor for the GOP primary. So I think that that's also very telling because they're spending a lot of their time talking about Trump, I think, because they'd sure like to see Trump be our nominee. They like to bash him. They like to malign him, demonize and degrade him, but they also want to run against him. So I think that's why you're seeing him take up a lot of the air in the room when it comes to coverage, whether that's negative or positive. And we know it's Donald Trump, so it's always going to be negative. They're also uh, not learning their lesson from 2016 when they spent a whole lot of time covering Donald Trump. That worked to his advantage. Uh, this time, uh, who knows whose advantage it's going to work to. Yeah. They want him to be our nominee, so maybe it's working to his advantage end of theirs, a very interesting situation. Yeah, and you know, and this may not be the biggest point to make, but uh, Ron DeSantis's answer for why he's been underperforming has been that, well, the mainstream media is attacking me so much because they want me to, they want me to lose Trump to win because I'm the only one who could beat Biden. But according to these numbers, he is getting marginally more favorable coverage than Trump. So what do you think about that? Well, I think that uh, the DNC, Democrats and liberals and media know very well that when they attack Trump, his supporters circle the wagon. So it's a win-win for them. If they want Trump to be the nominee, attacking him actually seemingly works to their advantage and to his, as I just said. So, yes, uh, it's hard for Ron DeSantis to get a lot of coverage. Of course, the coverage of him has been negative. But Trump is going to take a lot of air out of the room. And that's going to help Trump because when you go after Trump, his supporters only dig in deeper. So mm -hmm. that's the weird spot that we're in right now yeah. and then of course tomorrow night's debate DeSantis needs a big moment we'll see if he gets it yeah. but for a media that holds itself out as the paragon of democracy not showing any positivity with half the country's candidates really doesn't speak to the democratic sure. process and informing the voters finally Joe Biden aiming to push Americans to get booster shots for COVID-19 in the coming months but Tommy do you remember when he said this is the pandemic over the pandemic is over. The pandemic is over. If you notice, no one's wearing masks. Everybody seems to be in pretty good shape. Just in the last week, a New York hospital, a college in Atlanta, and Lionsgate all reinstated mask wow. mandates. Tommy, what's going on here? Well, uh, I think they're never going to let COVID go because they loved the power that COVID brought them. So are we in for another COVID era? I think they're going to try to push one. Certainly, you know, we've got an election coming up. I think that the COVID era did very well for Democrats when it came to electioneering. So maybe that's part of the plan and the strategy here. But, you know, if you want to encourage people to get boosters, at least be honest. Remind people that the vaccine does not prevent infection or spread. If you're elderly, you want to get it because you think it protects you. That's all fine and dandy, but let's just be honest about the vaccine. Let's have a worthwhile conversation about it, but just simply sitting there rolling up your sleeve, pushing more vaccines, and uh, even worse, pushing mask mandates, especially in schools. I mean, I think Americans are over this, and I think the Democrats are going to overplay their hand if they think that we're going to be in for another two weeks to flatten the curve. <laughs> Bruce, we're not falling for <laughs> it this Three time, guys. Th they may want to actually follow the science this time. They told us they were doing it. Turns out they did yeah. not. Uh, Tommy, you're are hosting a one-hour special outkick on Fox with Clay Travis and Charlie Arnold this Sunday coming up at 10 p.m. That's a programming note. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, As Tommy. always, and another programming note, we have a debate tomorrow night in That's case you right. haven't heard, 9 p.m. Eastern. Fox and Friends starts right now. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.